Uh, what I see is uh, pretty much the same thing as last year. And uh, they got a good defensive line. They got some good guys on their line, and their secondary is really good. I feel like their secondary is the best part of their defense. So uh, we're going to get a really good team. What do you like about Steve Sar Sarkeesian? What do you think of what you like his coaching style? How, how it's going so far? I mean, yeah, I, I like Coach Sarkeesian a lot. And, uh, pretty much doing the same things we did with uh, Coach Kevin, but uh, everything's a lot more faster and smoother. The coaches look real good, and um, can't wait to go on the field Monday and see what we're going to do. You were one of the several players that kind of reached out to Coach Giffen on social media, kind of expressed, you know, thanks for everything kind of thing. What, what was behind that? Why did you want to make sure to do that? I was just out of respect, you know. I had a, I, I always talked to Coach Kiffin, so, you know, I just give him respect, said uh, thank you for what you did and all that, being here. Just just respect. Kevin, what's your help with that their secondary? Oh, they just got good guys. I mean, who play the ball good. I mean, who can run and uh, just guys that uh, know how to play football. So I respect them for that. Have you seen anything different from Jalen this week? Maybe an extra intensity? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's just really locked in, even though he was locked in the whole season. But uh, I feel like he really likes Coach Sarkeesian. And uh, Coach Sarkeesian gives him a lot of new tips and a lot of new things to get better at. And, uh, I think he's following up on that stuff real good, so I can't wait to get out there on Monday. What's he's faster and smoother? What did you mean? What's I mean, practices and when we get through our plays, we, we practice and uh, we just uh, we're running a lot, of, a lot of new things. Not too much new, but uh, we get we like the plays that we're getting and uh, we like what Coach Sarkeesian is doing. What was the disappointment level with the offense following the Peach Bowl? Uh, I mean, we wasn't disappointed. I mean, we know we could have did a lot better. We got the win, but we definitely need to score more points for our defense and for our team to, to be more successful. So that's the the biggest thing that we want to do for the Dallas team. Nick kind of talked about how Jalen was a little bit down on himself, kind of took a lot of the, the blame for, for lack of a better word, you know, for that. What did he say to some of the players after the game? Or what was that kind of? Uh, I don't think he said too much, but I, I've seen him down too. and. Uh, I know that he feel like he can uh, play a lot better. And uh, I feel like I can play a lot better. And I feel everybody feel like that. So not just him felt uh, bad how he played. It was a lot of us. So we are uh, uh, going to go with what we're doing right now to get better. And I feel like he's uh, got, got his confidence back. And he's ready to go out there and do what he can do. And uh, Coach Sarkis is going to help him a lot with that. So it's going to be all right. Kevin, you guys are still living together, aren't you? Yeah. 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 So, so how much do you guys talk about football? At home, or is that more relaxation? Than uh, we relax, but we uh, talk about it here and there. So, so, how much did you guys talk about the Washington game after getting there? Just in uh, private though? Not that much. Because we didn't find out that we had a new coach until like just a couple of days later, but not that much. We just worry about the next game now. So, so, what's something that you've seen from him that kind of signaled that he's even more locked in? Uh, he just told me, like, uh, I like him too, so I mean, uh, he says he's getting a lot of new things happening to help him with. He's uh, watching a lot more film, breaking things more down to him, so I guess he likes the coaching better. What was your involvement with Coach Sark prior to him officially taking over this week? Uh, I really, I, I mean, I met him, but it wasn't uh, nothing, really nothing at all until he introduced himself again into the team, the whole offense, so I really like him. He, he uh, introduced himself real well. He look like he's real, really like ready to, to get involved like heavily. And uh, he looks real focused and uh, I like that. So I'm ready to, ready to get involved. Kim said he was more vocal, but it, what's his personality like, I guess? Uh, he's real cool. He's real cool. I mean, he runs around with us to drill to drill. And uh, he's always thanking us, thank you, thank you, that we're working hard and we're, we're running our routes full speed. And, uh, it's always to have somebody that can be like that, give you a lot of confidence and be able to work hard. What's it like seeing a, a coach, you know, we saw him, you know, running, like you said, in between drills or going from sideline to sideline. What's it like seeing that kind of extra effort from a coach? I mean, that's good. I mean, we always see it from Coach Nate because he always do that with the receivers. But uh, seeing the head guy, the off, head off coordinator do it too, that just uh, sparks the whole offense. We got, we all got a lot of guys, coaches, who uh, bring a lot of intense intensity to the offense, so being the head guy doing it, it's real good. It's How much guys? Sorry, is he funny? Uh, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> right now we just, we're business right now, so that's what we're worried about. Okay.
Okay, how much is Coach Sarkey or you guys just in, as a team talking about the importance of getting receivers? You or Darius, other guys more involved as uh, we do your squad? We didn't really talk about it, but I feel like we got a lot of things in that are going to get involved, so we'll just have to see on Monday. When you mentioned he introduced himself again, is that when you guys found out that there was a change? Uh, we actually uh, found out when we got up there, so I'm saying so like what, what, what was everyone's reaction? Uh, I don't know. I just, everybody just went with it. That's what we felt. Where, where are you mentally right now is, you know, you're a day away from going down to Tampa. Um, I'm ready to play football, ready to go to the next game. And I'm excited that we're going back to the national championship. And I, I, want, to, I want to compete at a high level. I'm ready to help, help my team win. With a lot of the same faces on the secondary and really their defense as well, uh, I guess except for safety, maybe that was a big difference. But what, what what do you see? What comparisons can you make from last year's secondary this year? Uh, I see I see some of the same things. I mean, they got a lot of guys who can play the ball as well. Like I said, and uh, they compete very well at a high level. So, in our season, we're gonna have to bring it. What's this time of year like uh, when you don't have class and you just got football um, for about a month, I guess? It's great. <laughs> is, it, is it like being a pro, you think? Uh, well, I don't know what it is like being a pro yet, but it's really good when I can just wake up and just focus on football. So it's, it's pretty good. Do Not saying I don't like school, but. <laughs> <laughs> Do you watch more film and, and that kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, we. Uh, I get up, eat breakfast, and I'm yeah. there all day. How many more family members will you have at the game, considering it's indoors? Uh, same amount. Oh, yeah. Same one coming out of the game. So, so I only get a couple, so many amount of drinks. So <laughs> How many do you get? I get five or six. This will be the 15th game. I mean, I know you've had some time, some breaks in between, you know, the holidays and stuff like that. But how, how long has the season been for y'all? It's a long season. I remember last year I was tired, but this year I did it. I, I, I knew what was coming, so I did it the right way. I, I feel fresh. And uh, last year I was tired of that game, and I'm ready for this game. What do you mean you did it the right way? What do you mean by that? Like I knew like uh, what it takes, like cold tub, hot tub, massages. So I did that, and I was, I was ready. I know there are a lot of tough people on this team, but hey, how tough do you feel like Ruben Foster is? <laughs> he tough. Real tough. I mean, I wouldn't want to uh, get hit by him and stuff, so I'm happy I'm on this team. And, and he, he dealt with a lot of different uh, nicks and bruises and injury kind of stuff this year that he's just played through. Hey, how much does that impress you just seeing him deal with that and just. Yeah, I, I don't see him like, so I think his couple of his fingers are broken. Uh, his foot uh, banged up and he go out there and he still hits, runs sideline to sideline and just chew beast, chew beast. Have you been hit by him? No. Come on, Mark. I got hit. Oh, oh, oh. I got hit by Reggie my first year. <laughs> Looking back at last year's game, what was it like seeing OJ Howard have that kind of performance? I mean, that was well deserved. I mean, <coughs> he worked hard all year in practice, and uh, he wasn't getting the ball, but uh, he waited, he waited, and uh, finally it came to him, and it was the game that we needed him. Uh, it showed that he's he's definitely a, a, a top guy in the nation at his position, and uh, that he needs to get the ball. You kind of talked about part of the, the one of the reasons he doesn't think it'll be a big transition with Sarge compared to <coughs> Kiffin is because they're going to script plays, they're going to script scenarios, and you're going to know ahead of time what in a certain situation, third and long, or what you're going to do. How much do y'all know that prior to game? Really, whatever the scenario is, this is one or two plays that we're going to call, or, or something of that nature. Uh, I mean, sometimes we script plays, and we know we we don't really know exactly what they're going to call, but we usually know what the first play of the game is going to be and stuff like that. So that helps us to be able to know that what we're going to do. If we got a slot of plays missed it, that means we're going fast. So that helps the team go a lot faster. Would you let Anki go? 